Hello everyone, it's Jack from Visual Effects Hut. Uh, so we've got exciting news, you've probably already seen that we've got a new asset library, which is pretty cool. So it's pretty much everything we've got in the Visual Effects store, but all on one website where you subscribe just like Quixel and you get unlimited access to everything for one small fee a year. So first let's have a look at our VDB volumes and let's pick one that we want to use. So we'll go for Flames 3. All we do is we just hit Get and this will automatically start downloading providing you signed in. Now let's jump into Cinema 4D and we're using Redshift on this one. So let's go in and create a render view. We'll use the viewport rendering this time. And then let's go ahead and create a dome light. We'll go and pick one of ours again. Still just getting my head around Redshift, it's pretty cool though. As we're on volumes, let's go to create a Redshift volume. And go and find out where we've just saved it. And then go to the animation tab, change the mode to simple and time into frame. And then just hit detect frames. It's 327. If it doesn't come up, sometimes you might need to rename the files because sometimes some render engines, including Redshift, doesn't like the brackets. Right, so now we just need to create a volume material. Drag it onto our volume and open up the shader graph. Then under the scatter channel, we're going to change it to Redshift Volume Density. And under the emission channel, we want to change that to Redshift Flames. So we've already, we can see the actual volume now, which is pretty cool. And um, then what we want to do next is adjust the absorption to quite a low number, so 0 0.1, 0 0.2. And then we want a fire color for the emission, so we'll go for like an orangey red. See, that's already looking pretty cool. Then you can use the scale and the remap ramp to change the colors and drag that yellow and orange gradient across the volume. Pulling it in makes the edges sharper, but obviously you might have to compensate for that with other settings. But that is pretty much how you get fire in Redshift. So hopefully you found that exciting and here is just a little quick scroll down some of our other favourite products. So the imperfections all rendered the same, just with a roughness, some with a bump as well, just to give you the impression of what you can get. Obviously you can use surface imperfections for whatever you want, because it's just a black and white map, but these was very sought after on just a normal shop, so we decided to carry on with them. Um, if you do go to the shop and buy the pack, you get from number one all the way up to 30, I believe. And then anyone from everyone from 31 all the way up to 45 are all new. And we're going to continue to add just like we are with the textures and volumes. So hopefully you found it useful and that you might subscribe. Be cool if you do. Um, anyway, catch you on the next one.